All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation x to the power of three minus eight is equal to zero. So how most people solve this equation is they add eight on both sides. So I get x to the power of three is equal to eight. And then they take the cube root on both sides. So the cube root of x to the power of three is x and the cube root of eight is two. So then they get x equals two, which is a solution to this equation but actually there are more than one solution to this equation. So I'm gonna rewrite my equation here, x to the power of three minus eight equals zero. And now I'm gonna rewrite eight as two to the power of three. So I get x to the power of three minus two to the power of three is equal to zero. And then now I'm gonna use the formula a to the power of three minus b to the power of three is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. So in this case, this turned into x minus two times x squared plus two x plus four is equal to zero. So now I get two equations. I get x minus two equals zero and x squared plus two x plus four equals zero. So for x minus two equals zero, I get x equals two, which was a solution that we already got. But now see on top of this, we have a whole nother equation with two more solutions because it's a quadratic equation. So to solve this, I'm gonna use the quadratic formula. So I get negative two plus or minus the square root of two squared, which is four minus four times a, which is one times c, which is four, or all over two a, so two times one. And this turns into negative two plus or minus the square root of four minus 16 over two, which is equal to negative two plus or minus negative 12 over two which is equal to negative two plus or minus 12 I over two, which is equal to negative one plus or minus six I. So these are the two more solutions to this equation. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the problem two to the power of 30 minus one. So to solve this, I'm gonna rewrite this as two to the power of 15 times two minus one. Now, if I have something to form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So two to the power of 15 times two is the same thing as two to the power of 15 to the power of two. And negative one is the same thing as negative one squared. Now, if I have something to form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is two to the power of 15 and b is one. So now I have two to the power of 15 plus one times two to the power of 15 minus one. Now two to the power of 15, well, what's the value of that? Well, two to the power of 10, this is 1024. So two to the power of 11 is double of two to the power of 10, which is double of 1024 which is 2048. So now two to the power of 12 is double of 2048, which is 4096. Two to the power of 13 is double of 4096, which is 8192. Two to the power of 14 is double of that, which is 16,384. And finally, two to the power of 15, this is double of this, which is 32,768. So I have 32,768 plus one times 32,768 minus one. And now this is equal to 32,769 times 32,767. Now, a simple way to solve this, instead of having to actually multiply them the regular way, is to rewrite this as 32,000 plus 769 times 32,000 plus 767. Now I'm gonna distribute. So I get 32,000 times 32,000, which is equal to 1024 zero, 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 zero. This is 
1 billion, 24 million. And now I have this plus 32,000 times 767. plus 769 and finally I have at the end 767 times 769 which is equal to 589,823 so let me add all of this up You can, you can actually do this on paper if you want, but just to make this easier, I'm gonna use a calculator to add all this up. So if I add all of this up, I get 1,073,741,000 823. So this is my solution.